kind of made heaps, as you no doubt gathered from the thumbnail and title. Uh, this video is about art theft, copying, and the likes thereof. And I really don't want to just know my opinion on this topic, so if you have anything to add or some perhaps opposing opinions or whatever, or just like your own definition for what art theft and copying and references is, are, <laughs> improper grammar, are, um, I'd love to hear them. So you can put them in the comment section and I would like to discuss this with you, my peeps. So anyway, the whole reason behind me talking about this topic today is because of this drawing that you see on the screen. I drew it and then afterwards I was like, hmm, this looks familiar. What is it about this that this seems familiar? And then I remember there's this artist that I follow on Instagram. Her username is Rustic Space Fiddle. Here's her drawing that I thought of after I did this picture and I was like, oh no, have I accidentally copied this? even though I was not looking at her work or not actively thinking about her work while I was drawing this picture. Am I an art thief? Oh lord no, there it is. So, I was really thinking about this stuff and I was anxious and just, I didn't feel comfortable sharing my picture because I was like, I don't want anyone to accuse me of art theft when I did not steal anything or accused of copying someone's style when I wasn't and it just I was just thinking about uh, the I don't know I guess culture in the art community about theft and copying and all those things and to me art theft is when it's like plagiarism is when you sit down not you in particular, just like a theoretical person, sits down with a drawing or something in front of them and they recreate it like line for line. It's like plagiarism when you take something that's not yours and pass it off as your own. And that is bad. And if you do that in college, you get in a lot of trouble and some colleges won't even let you in because you're that fella that plagiarized that time. So plagiarism and theft is not cool. Don't do that. But then there's people who accidentally um, copy some aspects of someone's style, like kind of how I did in this picture. Uh, I felt the lighting that I used was similar to how this other artist uses lighting. and. I didn't reference anything. I didn't even look at this artist stuff before I drew this, but I felt there was some similarity. So is that copying? Is that art theft? What is this? Oh my goodness. And I think there's a moment in everyone's art journey slash career, and I think a lot of artists can agree with this, that um, like you sat down, perhaps you were watching your favorite anime or cartoon or whatever, and you're like, oh my gosh, these characters are so cool, and you sat down and you drew exactly what you saw on the telly. <laughs> and for a lot of artists, including myself, that's kind of how they started, and that's how they started getting into art, and that's one of the moment when they could be like, oh yes, my my journey in this realm started when I was tracing this anime character that I liked a lot, or this cartoon character that I liked a lot. And just online, when it comes to like accusing people of art theft and copying and stuff, I think it's important to note the age of the person doing it because not everyone is a malicious, evil person just trying to gain followers off of someone else's hard work and I think that's just an important thing to note and it's also important to note that styles are basically not on, they're not only your interpretation of the world around you and how you perceive things but also a it's like a it's like everything you've ever seen including other art styles meshed into little, one little thing and because of that there are going to be similarities between certain art styles. Like, you can look at the whole manga style or anime style as like a similar thing because they are similar. 
there's a anime art style. You can look at someone's art and you're like, oh yes, anime. And you can't accuse everyone who's an artist with that style of being an art thief or copying because they're all under this umbrella term of anime. Can you? Can you do that? Can you tell everyone they're thieves and stealing? Um, I don't think so. But also, there are other styles that kind of belong to a single artist. Whereas, like, you can look at someone's art and be like, oh yes, this is X, Y, and Z style. And then you see someone else's style who looks like this niche artist. And you're like, hold up, chief. Something right here. I think one of you is a stealer. And it's like, that's the main thing I want to focus on. That one right there. The, the small artists or just individual artists with a unique style and then you see other people who have a style that's like suspiciously similar. Is that copying? Is that theft? Hmm, I wonder. Seriously, I wonder. Like, do you have an answer for me? Because I'm wondering. Because, I mean, like I said, style is basically like your style is influenced by other art styles that you see and because of that you can't necessarily be completely original because you're always going to be influenced by someone else whether you want to or not because that's how the brain works it's like a sponge you put that bad boy in some water and it's going to absorb everything and because of that it's like, where are the lines here? Where do you draw the lines? What is copying? What is theft? What is anything? What is anything? What is anything? Oh my gosh, I got too deep there. Anyway, so um, I, I really do want to hear other people's opinion on this because I'm scared. <laughs> I'm really scared. Anyway, um, this particular drawing, like I mentioned, I drew it and afterwards I felt like I saw some similarities between Rustic Space Fiddle and the thing that I drew. I'm going to put the picture back on the, on the screen. Do you see any similarities? Am I just overthinking things? Am I paranoid? And, um, yeah, I'm confused at the moment. <laughs> Anyway, um, I hope you answered my questions and helped me out here, and I also hope that you enjoyed this video, and maybe, uh, even though this doesn't really state a lot of things, I hope maybe it helped in some way, I don't know. Um, anyway, here's how the drawing turned out, um, I have conflicting feelings about it, I don't know, but it exists now, it's there, there it is. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.